here we have to find the surface integration given by double integration over s over s f dot n ds where f is given by this and s is the surface of the sphere x square plus y square plus z square this is equal to 4 in the second octet generally it is given that this is first octet but here it is given that the second octet actually first octet is given by o x y z and the second octet is given by a o x y z dash that is we have to take the negative direction of z axis okay if we draw a rough sketch of the sphere this is the sphere and this is this is the intersection through the center of the sphere and this is z axis clear and this is the y axis this is y axis positive direction of y axis this is positive direction of x axis this is positive direction of z axis and this is negative direction of z axis so we have to we have to take the second octet that is o x y z dash okay and as similar as the first octet if we project this if we take the first octet then we get the surface like this okay like this and here it is given that we have to take a second octet so the surface is the lower side this type of surface this type of surface like this and this okay so if we project this surface or the surface of the sphere in the second octet on xy plane then clearly the projection is this this that is the projection is the area and if we draw the projection area in another position the projection area is looks like this this is the projection area okay and since the sphere is x square plus y square plus z square equal to 4 so this point is given by 4 0 0 and this point is given by 0 4 0 and this is given by x square plus y square equal to 4 because in this plane this is the xy plane and here z equal to 0 okay so in this surface the range of integration is x equal to 0 to 4 okay and y this is equal to 0 to root under 4 minus x square right and now find impact that is the unit norm so unit normal is given by here surface is given by phi this is equal to x square plus y square plus z square minus 4 so grad phi grad phi is 2 into xi plus yj plus zk and grad phi by mod grad phi this is given by 2 into xi plus yj plus zk by root under this is 2 x square plus y square plus z square and this is xi plus yj plus zk by 2 because the value of x square plus y square plus z square this is equal to 4 and that is we get half into xi plus yj plus z this is the unit normal to the surface now f dot n cap this is given by half into here f is this so we get this is z x square y plus y square z plus z x this is a dot n right now we project this value so the projection is given by ds is equal to dx dy by mod n cap dot a because we project on the xy plane so the formula of projection is dx dy by mod n dot a and this is given by dx dy by mod n is this so
so half into half into z okay so 2 dx dy by z this is the value of ds now we write the integration over s f dot n ds and this is given by f dot n ds makes half into x square y plus y square plus x into z into dx dy by half z okay z z cancel out half half cancel out so we get and the value of x is x equal to 0 to 4 0 to sorry this is not 0 to 4 this value are 2 0 0 and 0 2 0 okay so this is 0 to 2 and this is 0 to root 4 minus x square okay this is root 4 minus x square and this is 0 to 2 here because r is radius is 2 unit right and now integrating we get 0 to 2 and the integration of y we get x square y square by 2 plus y cube by 3 plus xy and the range is 0 to root 4 minus x square dx okay and by putting the range we get 0 to 2 and this is x square by 2 into this value is 4 minus x square plus 1 third into 4 minus x square into root 4 minus x square plus this is x into root 4 minus x square into dx. Clear? Integrating the first term, we get this integration is given by 4 by 2 into x cube by 3 minus x to the power 5 by 5 into 2 already here and the range is 0 to 2 plus and for this two integration we put x equal to 2 sin theta okay so dx this is equal to 2 cos theta digital and the range is x to theta is 0 to 0 to 2 and this is 0 to pi by 2 and so we get this is 1 third into integration 0 to pi by 2 this is given by 4 minus 4 sin square theta into root 4 minus 4 sin square theta into 2 cos theta d theta this is the first integration and the second integration is integration 0 to pi by 2 x this is 2 sin theta into this is 2 cos theta into 2 cos theta d theta okay and from here by putting the range we get this is 2 into 8 by 3 minus this is 32 by 10 clear plus this is we take common here 4 and from here 2 and from here 2 also so 2 into 2 4 and 4 this is 16 by 3 integration 0 to pi by 2 and this is cos square theta and this is cos theta and cos theta so this is cos to the power 4 theta d theta clear and from this integration we get this is 8 into integration 0 to pi by 2 this is sin theta into cos square theta d theta from the first term we get this is 16 by 3 minus this is 16 by 5 plus 16 by 3 into we use here the formula of gamma function and this this integration is given by 3 by 4 into half into pi by 2 okay and from the last integration this is 8 into integration 0 to pi by 2 this is sin theta into 1 minus sin square theta d theta so this is 16 by 15 into 2 plus this is given by 3 3 cancel out 16 16 cancel out 
so this is pi and from this integration this is integration 0 to pi by 2 this is sin theta minus sin q theta d theta so this is 32 by 15 plus pi plus 8 into this is cos theta obviously minus cos theta and the range is 0 to pi by 2 this is the first term and the second term is 2 by 3 into 1 ok so the total value 32 by 15 plus pi plus 8 into this is 1 because uh, cos pi by 2 is 0 and cos 0 is 1 minus this is 2 by 3 so 32 by 15 plus pi plus 8 into 3 minus 2 by 3 so this is 32 by 15 plus pi plus 8 by 3 and we adding this two term we get LCM 15 this is 32 and this is obviously 40 plus pi so this relation gives 72 by 15 plus pi okay and if we cancel out 3 from numerator and denominator then we get 24 by 5 plus 5 and this is the value of the double integration or the value of the surface integration okay thank you thank you for watching